Greetings, Daily Dose listeners. Wanted to uh, take some time today in this video and uh, introduce you to this bad boy. If you haven't seen this before, we have here the Encyclopedia of Hebrew Language and Linguistics, four volume set published by Brill, uh, coming in at a little over 3,000 pages, 950 articles, and over 400 contributors. And if you look at the contributors list uh, in the first volume, you'll see many, many names that are at the top tier of Hebrew language study and Hebrew Semitics linguistics studies. And so I wanted to introduce you to this volume. One of the things we like to do in Daily Dose is always give you um, uh, introductions to new resources. This one is not new, but may be new to many of you. And the biggest thing about this one that I want to highlight is just the level of depth that it goes into as it relates to Hebrew language. Now, this might be a little bit higher level than, uh, than some of us, including myself, are, are interested in. But when it comes to a lot of those major questions that we have or things that we kind of feel like, hey, the old grammars just don't do it justice, uh, this updated version, this updated resource uh, is actually very helpful uh, in compiling not only all of the data into one succinct article within the encyclopedia, uh, but also giving us the most updated information. Now, this volume was first published in 2013 by Brill, and uh, it, from what I understand, the online version of the Encyclopedia for Hebrew Language and Linguistics is going to be updated regularly in order to keep it current. And so that's another value of this resource, especially if you can access a digital copy online, maybe through a li an institutional library or something like like that. Now, price range might make this one a little bit, uh, a little bit out of uh, out of range for some folks. Right now, um, Brill's website coming in at fifteen hundred dollars. Now, that being said. Lagos, from what I understand on their website, Lagos Bible Software, is offering, uh, what they do is kind of these crowdsourcing models uh, where they, uh, they, they're gathering interest to see who would want this resource. And right now, it's priced at $400 for all four volumes. Now, the trade-off to that is um, you, you kind of are at the beck and call of when it gets fully funded and is produced and available. Now, I'm hoping that'll be available in Lagos very soon, uh, but I have the hard copies here uh, in the meantime, thanks to Brill. Uh, so I just wanted to make this uh, known to you and, and let you know a little bit about it. This is from their website, offers a systematic and comprehensive treatment of all aspects of the history and study of the Hebrew language from its earliest attested form to the present day. So that's them kind of giving you an idea of what all is involved here. In the four volumes, you're going to find all sorts of articles. You have the index in volume four to kind of help direct you if you're looking for something specific. You're going to see articles uh, related to biblical Hebrew, rabbinic Hebrew, modern Hebrew, kind of all the categories tend to go through that sequence. You've got articles on relationships between Hebrew language and other Semitic languages, Canaanite, Aramaic, these families. Uh, you've got articles on topics about the linguistic discussions within biblical Hebrew, Vav consecutives. There's an article by uh, John Cook on verbal aspect that's very good. Uh, you've got uh, an article on Nunation by Elizabeth Robar. And Nunation, if you're curious about that noon that pops in uh, to Deuteronomy at the end of a verb periodically, or the infixed noon on some of those suffixes, Elizabeth Robar has a great article on Nunation. And then also an as uh, article on modality in Biblical Hebrew that actually was written by uh, our very own Scott Callahan with Daily Dose of Aramaic. So uh, a plethora of articles there related to Hebrew linguistics. Uh, and then also you've got some unexpected ones here. Uh, Christian Hebraists of the medieval period. Christian Hebraists of the Renaissance period, of the pre-modern period. Didn't see that one coming, but you've got those. And then also, who can, who can miss the article on Hebrew bumper stickers? So uh, a wide swath of information there as it relates to what this volume, these volumes offer. And so uh, if you have a chance to look at these, maybe at a local library, or again, if your uh, institution has a digital uh, subscription to this, uh, to be able to look at these resources. Fun stuff to look at, at the very least. Now, the other thing that I wanted to highlight in this video um, and related to, to these resources is uh, in the linguistic study of Hebrew, discourse analysis is one of those things uh, that for me personally has become quite enjoyable to kind of think through how is the bigger discourse being 
being structured here? And what are those markers to help us understand that structure? And I just want to highlight for you a, a conference that's going to be coming up. It is in uh, October, October 18th, 2023. And this is the Hebrew Discourse Conference uh, at Dallas International University. We've got several friends who are going to be presenting and helping to put this, uh, this conference on, and so we wanted to, to let you know about it. Um, the topic is going to be macro analysis of Hebrew poetic and prophetic discourse. So you're kind of thinking in that discourse analysis world, and you can check out their website, www.hebrewdiscourse.com, in order to find out more information about the conference, uh, registration, things of that nature. One thing that they are doing is they're accepting papers. There's going to be about 20 papers, it sounds like, that will be presented. Uh, so they'll be accepting proposals and abstracts for those papers up through April 28th of 2023. So I would encourage you, if you're interested, to, uh, to look into that. So uh, you can get registration details at their website, again, www.hebrewdiscourse.com. And so, again, a great resource a great conference. Just want to let you guys know about these things. Shalom.